Here it is. It's two Rubbermaid totes with holes drilled all the way around this section of the outer one and the inner one which is just uh, stacked in there has holes all the way around the outside and the bottom so they can breathe and here's inside I just cleaned out a bucket of compost so I'm going to show you that right there I need to put my glove on okay this is worm compost I keep it inside oh look there's a worm that I missed I'll put him back in for the next round here's what it looks like inside this is where we've been dumping our food there's lots of little worms in there it has absolutely no smell there's a chunk of onion some cabbage shredded newspapers what we use for bedding and they just eat it up and then they poop out all this nice brown stuff that I will sift through every couple of months and get a bucket of compost. So now that I've emptied out this side of the compost, I'm going to take some fresh shredded newspaper and put bedding in this side. Okay, let me get a better view. Okay, so we've got the bin. I'm putting fresh shredded newspaper here, which I'll wet down so that it's damp for them. They need to have moisture to breathe. And I'm going to start putting my food scraps on this side. And then the worms that are living in here will start to migrate over and leave this old side full of compost and they'll live in this side while I feed them there and so I just kind of switch back and forth okay so I'm watering and then I keep a full uh, newspaper that I lay over the whole thing because they like it dark And then I have my lid, which is two sandwiched Rubbermaid tops with a spacer between them for ventilation and a screen so the worms get air but not light. And I put the lid on top and that just sits there in my garage or you could keep it under your kitchen sink or by your back door or wherever you want and uh, feed them all your food scraps raw food scraps not cooked food scraps no meat products no fats and that's it